Cameron, why is she sad? Because I keep presenting her this badge. <laughs> Sorry, I've never seen that before. What do you mean I'm her voice? Well, I didn't feel like you should read it right well, let now. Let me present her with with her sister's murder weapon. Uh, <laughs> Stop asking her about murder weapons. Anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Great. He's attorney. Blind. Because Cameron's blind. And he has no idea what any of this shit is. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how you can still see her eyes through her hair. Yeah. It's the classic anime look at. Huh, classic anime said that. So what did, um, so there's a lot of suspicious behavior going on with, uh, there's Grossberg and then the, the lady, uh, April Ma- Ooh. Hi! <laughs> I didn't even get to finish my thing. But we're, we're Maya's lawyer now, and we're trying to help her. So we're trying to gather evidence, and hey, look, hello, nerd! Good, good afternoon, no, sir. No, I'm voicing this guy. You have too many characters right now. Good afternoon, sir. What do you mean? You're literally the main character. I'm literally just a detective in Maya. In Miles Edwards. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, you are... I was imagining he would sound like Stewie Griffin from, from Family Guy. Yeah, brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the belly... Uh, the, the, the belly, belly. boy? <laughs> I'm in the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, uh, facilities? If you have no need for anything, I will be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy! Yeah! Can I have that teapot? What? No, wait, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, that's my chance to super around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Ah! You came back quick! I'd like to ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White, the blue corp, phoned in. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White, the blue corp? Where have I heard that name? Why? That's my least favorite skin color! <laughs> <laughs> well, Mia, that's crazy. <laughs> That was his name, my sister told me! White was the name of the guy that ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Quick, say what that is! There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. I have my chance to see what's inside. <gasps> what do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm! What would a woman like her be needing this thing for? Found in Miss May's hotel room. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all of this, I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Bellboy, still here? Oh, time to scram. I look forward to ten going with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Wait, is that it? Oh, what we should have kept going. All right, any I guess we're going to court now. We're three minutes in, and we're about to get shipped off to court. Yeah, if I can say the point. No. No, say the point. What, did I? Do you think I missed stuff? <laughs> no, I thought we. I, got, I thought we. Maybe I'm thinking about a different part of this trial, the, part of this episode of uh, some shit with Grossberg. I thought we had to go back to him before Miss May, but. It's ten in the morning. I mean, there's probably some, there's probably some dialogue where like Phoenix is like, is like, you're oh, suspicious. Oh, you're suspicious, and I'm representing her, and he's like, he's like, oh, 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 he's like, oh, he's like oh, good luck that bitch. <laughs> oh my God, there he is! The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Oh my God! Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today. Her will be on me in an instant. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. <laughs> Prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edge. Or... 
<laughs> Bro, you edged me with that one. <laughs> Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Dick, that is. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. What voice did I give him again? He's supposed to have like a bossy kind of accent to him. I, I like a just, rough kind of like. I, yeah, I, I, I think I just gave him like a rough sort of. Yeah. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Oh, oh he breathes so hard. <laughs> yeah, he got a big chance. He's a big guy. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map to the office to explain. Oh, thank God. I don't know what my office looks like. <laughs> the body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Oh, that was Edgeworth. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the Thinka, found next to the body, sir. <laughs> it was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. The murder scene of the Faco Law Office. No, detective. Oh, sorry, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> you immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Uh, yes, sir. I have hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Oh, I got some hard evidence right here. I mean, what? Sorry. Anyway, your testimony, please. <laughs> As soon as the phone, the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people all there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. And then she said, I saw her take that statue and go, Arr! <laughs> Hmm, the very moment you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I can't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. <laughs> hey, Maya just threw something at me. It just says, you fucking suck at this. <laughs> What's this? But my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony. She would bluff it and press the witness for every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Huh, I should have expected Maya to know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give it a try. It's kind of like when someone tells you a story and you ask them about a certain part of it, so they'll expand on it, and then that part will be added to the testimony for you to press on more. Yeah. Something to matter? No, Your Honor. I, I like to begin cross-examination. Hold on, is there a trash can in here? I gotta be balling right now in the courtroom. <laughs> As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Alright, I'm pressing on every single detail. HOLD IT! WHY DID YOU RUSH TO THE SCENE?! <laughs> who did you- Who did you say you got- Wait. Who did you say you got the call from? Sorry, I don't want to miss Hey, you. pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gateway Hotel, right? Across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay. I pressed, but not sure I did much, though. Alright, please continue. You people there already. Who were those two people? <laughs> and you're like, just read the next statement until then. Yeah, that's why I'm not gonna press that. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I don't, I don't think I need to press on. I mean, that is true. We were there. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. We were there. I immediately arrested Miss Ma Miss Maya Fay. Do I need to? Hmm. I don't, I don't. I mean, that's what he did. I don't, yeah. I don't see any point in pressing on that. Why? We had a witness account describing her. <coughs> Hold on, just one second. Y yeah If I hear correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Uh huh? Did, did I say that? Me? I could love him. I heard you say it. <laughs> you did say it. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I, Exactly what was this suspicious woman in pink in pink's claim it was hard evidence. What? what? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure is a pink pal. What do you mean? She wears well, pink clothes? Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough. Detective Gumshoe, 
Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Uh, um. Hmm, I guess I pressed something that had some... I guess pressing does have its advantages. But that, that says can have its advantages. Fuck you. <laughs> Are you the lawyer right now? No. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look at my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking. Uh, left, right, left. <laughs> both. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ugh. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Motherfucker. Alright. Witness hard evidence. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. <gasps> also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. So she was bashing the head and then she was like, ow! And then like dug her finger into her bleeding hole and just wrote her sister's name. So, how you like that? That's my hard evidence. Oh, yes please. <laughs> hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of inv evidence the first time? Oh. Uh, uh, I know, I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin its uh, cross-examination. <laughs> Alright, gumshoe. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> Objection, lack of evidence! <laughs> After securing this suspect, I examined this crime scene with my own eyes. Yeah, that's probably fine. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the bike. That is true. I mean, we saw it there before you even got there. <laughs> It wrote Maya in there, clearly in blood. The lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Yeah, that's probably true. Also, there was blood found in the victim's finger. Sorry, yeah, the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. <gasps> Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure, it happens all the time in books and movies. I meant like real ones. <laughs> this isn't a movie, Detective. Uh, oof! Let's talk about reality, shall we? No, um, uh, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. You got a point, pal. <gasps> oh, I got the hearing! <laughs> oh, shit, look at him. Yeah. Stop right there. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> the witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Why don't we look like that this time? We're just like... <laughs> order, order. I didn't go so well. Th that's right. What do you say? That's his old testimony. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Hmm. Is there anything that sticks out to you? I'm gonna present my attorney <laughs> badge. <laughs> As you can see, I'm Maya Faye's lawyer, and therefore, I find her innocent of this crime. Clean, <laughs> receipt, wiretap, it's a thinker. Cell phone. Hmm. There's an autopsy report. That was instantaneous. Well, I don't think there's anything on this statement. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own yeah. eyes. Yeah. That's just a review of the crime scene. Yeah, that's true. Found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Should I present the the memo? I think if you do if you do that. It can only present like one thing. Yeah, you can only present. You only can pick one piece of evidence and then pick the statement that, like, for its contradiction. Okay. So you're just. If, if, so if you do that, they're gonna be like, I don't see anything wrong with that, and you'll get a penalty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he literally did find a, a memo written he on. You're like, is it this one? He's like, yeah, that's right. What about it? <laughs> yeah, I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Okay. And the word Maya was written clearly in blood. 
I mean, yeah, that's true. My test results show that the blood was the victim's. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Also, there was blood found in the victim's finger. Anything with that? No, I mean, he's all, all he, I mean, he's spitting. Yeah, he's, he's actually spitting right now. There's no cap. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Before she died. Death was instantaneous. Hmm. There you go! I was hoping you you notice it was it said instant. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe. There's one thing I want to you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accused that she's accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. That's really what you're saying? What? what? <laughs> this isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? Shake my head. You have it backwards, detective. But backwards? Yeah, if you read it backwards, it says, As you've done! <laughs> the victim was the... The victim was the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But no butting your way out of this one, detective. <laughs> order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? Uh, it was the day after the murder. Yeah. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point view. I love his face. Yeah, he's everyone's surprised here. <laughs> that autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. The what? <laughs> A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. How the fuck can you tell that? But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. Isn't this withholding evidence? Yeah, I mean, be fair, we're holding a wiretap right now, so I guess we can't really say much. <laughs> no way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth! I should have known that you had something up your sleeve. Oh my god, he's so cute! Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? The detective's a sham! <laughs> what do you want to say? I don't, I don't know if any of these have consequences, but it's really funny that I just shout like, I'm a scam! <laughs> I feel like that's the stupidest <laughs> one to put. So either either I piss on Edgeworth or I just roast the detective. Like, I feel like yeah, I feel like the detective should have given us the the autopsy report. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How could you give me a faulty report? Uh huh? I thought Detective Gumshoe. Oh. I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You are a fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. Damn! <laughs> poor, poor detective gumshoe, he's gonna be- He's <laughs> gonna be living off ramen for a while. He ain't even gonna be able to report his ramen. He's yeah. gonna have to- This guy ramen? <laughs> what, what, what? <sighs> your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Well died from a blunt. May have lived several minutes after being hit. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. <sighs> Obnoxious. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. <laughs> a poor innocent girl? <laughs> Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? 
Oh wait, do you get to see her boob? <gasps> <laughs> Miss April May, can you explain this wiretap that I found <laughs> illegally searching through your bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the butt? <laughs> Witness, your name please. April May, at your service, wink. Her boobs jiggle. Yeah, I was hoping you'd love this character. And that's why I did the Jennifer Coolidge voice on They're all shaking their head, they're like, Big booba, big booba. Order, an instruction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, your honor. This is not good. He's already captured the hearts of every man in this courtroom. Tell us, where were you on the night of uh, September 11th, I mean September 5th, when the murder <laughs> Damn. My bad, slip of the tongue. <laughs> um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room? Hehe. <laughs> I checked right in after lunch. I had a hot dog from downstairs. <laughs> and this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. Law offices. Um, yeah, that's right, big boy. Hey, back off this, Jesus. <laughs> Please, satisfy to the court about what you saw. Now walks off stage. <laughs> what does his account? I was like, it was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was that mousy girl sitting in the defendant chair. Then the woman like dodged to the side and ran. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. She went, her blood went pro at the 4th of July. <laughs> then that woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every tinsy little bit. Wink. <laughs> that was a wanton wink, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah. Your Honor, the, the witness... <laughs> the witness has big booba and it's distracting me. Yeah. Your Honor, please let this witness conceal the big booba. It's distracting. <laughs> Order. <laughs> hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. Fuck. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Oh, wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? Oh, I thought the witness's testimony just now was uh, quite firm, huh? didn't you? <laughs> Bro, you were looking at her tits. Um, uh, Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Maya Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny false and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? She's literally dead, my guy. Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Uh, yeah. Yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Miss April May. April may kill herself. <laughs> I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Yeah, what about this, uh, this wiretap that I found? <laughs> Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. I'm not gonna read this in her voice. I, I, <laughs> yeah. It was like 9 at night, I looked at the window, you know? Present! <laughs> <laughs> Nine at night. Yeah. This autopsy report doesn't mention the time of, time of yeah. death. Which is well, I think since we got there right after she was murdered, you're supposed to just like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I just I just found that interesting. Um, I was sorry, floor plans. Let me check, let me check this. Okay, so I, that the light is where the window is coming in. So yeah. I, that's where you could see. So the door came in. She she did die at the window. Right? Yeah, she died right underneath it. Yeah. Okay. Am I allowed to just press her on every single thing she says? Yeah, you're allowed to do like the hold in and like press for more information, but you get penalized for presenting the wrong evidence on the wrong thing. No, I'm saying like like the press option. Can I just press yeah, it on can, every single? Yeah, thing you can press it on every single uh, like statement that she makes and get information. You can do that with any witness. And once it says otherwise, it's like, I better be careful, you know? 
Yeah. If it doesn't explicitly say to be careful, you can do it. Okay. Why did you do that? <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily? I sort of, you know... I look straight at your tits. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press her a little harder about this one. So, I think you gotta do that for each and every one. If you want to go for it or back down. I kind of do want to go for it. I, I kind of want to know. Let's see, I can run with this. Surely you have had some reason looking out the window at that time. I, oh. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah stop him! <laughs> the poor girl! <laughs> Order. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl? What about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? I guess that's what's gonna happen if you, if you do that. <laughs> And then, and then, whoa, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. I feel like I don't need to press it on this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the woman with long hair, that was Mia Fang? Aha, uh -huh, slender, sort of, well, some people might say pretty if that's your thing. Your thing? And the person attacking her? The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant chair. I can say this is like really heavy. Oh. Yeah, it's like, I think they mentioned the other one. It's a fucking heavy ass clock. Yeah, because because my 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 thing right now that I'm thinking, yeah. you know, the thinker, the thinking, <laughs> the thinking, and the noggin and thing. Yeah, is the obvious thing is how in the world could. Little little old Maya take this heavy ass clock and kill her in one hit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like doesn't make much sense, right? Yeah. You have to be pretty freaking strong to hit someone with. Like, I mean, granted, this thing's probably pretty solid. Yeah. But smacks smacks someone and kill them literally just with the one hit. I mean, that's what happened in the last case. Yeah, but that was a dude. Oh. It was a. It was a dude who just full full blown. I forgot freaking... how old Maya yeah, Maya is in this. I think she's six, 17? 16? Yeah, and and she says mousy girl. Yeah, that means she's small. I don't I actually never seen the two of them side by side because one's dead, you yeah. know? <laughs> what what do you think? Do you think I should press on this at all? You're in the you're in control, I'm just reading for Phoenix. Alright, I'll press on it. <laughs> how did you know she was a defendant? That is true. That's another point that I was thinking of. He he mentioned earlier that it's a like he's like I can barely see anything from over here. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I I just know, okay. There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish fi uh, figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I, you want to say he's right or question the statement? I don't care if I got warned. I'm badgering. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like fish in here. <laughs> what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. <gasps> you saw nothing or you're lying? Are you telling the truth? Are you... Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was looking at your ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yeah, what's the meaning of... What is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya. F yeah, Maya. F fuck. What, what's her name again? Maya? <laughs> Maya Faye. <laughs> you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Oh, yeah, because she has a. She's dressed like a fucking sneaker, Miriam. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. She's a freak! <laughs> And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. <laughs> However, the witness testimony mentioned neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. This witness is a bozo, your honor! <laughs> but, but! 
Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. And then anyone at the, the when she was brought in for questioning, she was brought in her clothes. What do you say to that, Miss May? Uh, what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I, I, I just don't think all that trivial little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please admit nothing in your testimony. <laughs> Wish I could do that. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Wink. Your testimony again, if you want. Damn, I almost had her. Me too. Alright, witness testimony. I did see everything! I did! The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Ran off to the right. But she would have had to run out to the left. If they broke that that the glass thing. Yeah. And then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And then hit her with that weapon. I saw it, I did. That that clock. Oh, they were kind of statue clock, the thinker, I think. How the fuck does she know it's a clock? Hmm. Well, does that ac does the accuracy of my report not startle you, Tiki? Yeah, everyone's been fucking thinking it's a statue this whole time. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. I'm about to press you on your statement. This is a bullshit! <laughs> your Honor, this this testimony is is, is cap. The victim and the woman dodged the first attack and ran out to the right. So she died probably where like that last little glass shard is. Yeah. Because it was right underneath the window seal. Is where Mia's body was. Oh. This evidence clear of Brazil is a contradiction in the same in your honor. You fucked up! Did I? Yeah. How exactly are that evidence in the statement just not related? They aren't, are they? Not at all, Mr. Wright. Please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. It you just it's, got penalized. It said she dodged to the right, though. I guess, I, I don't know. Get, I mean, I would question her about the statue because she said it was a clock. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so, but like... <laughs> You're like... Well, You're... well the most, most logical thing is keep pressing her on the fact that like she's lying about seeing what happened because there's no way she dodged over to the right. I mean, technically it's her, her right, so... Dodge over came into view. No, but if, if no, but if you looked at the like, uh, well, obviously, well, I mean, obviously she can't see the, the that part at all. Well, yeah, but I'm I'm saying if she said that she saw that dodge over to the right, then this map clearly shows that that can't be the case because the right of the the right of the fucking place, <laughs> there's nothing there. It's it's all untouched. The left is completely is completely fucking battered. But apparently this judge is like, no. <laughs> I don't think the game wants you to do that. <laughs> Did, okay, I thought you were about to do that again. I was like, come on, man. Is that right, as in your right, as you look from the hotel? Ah, uh, which hand do I hold my knife in again? The one I used to stab my I mean, right. It's my right hand, right? Satisfied, Mr. Wright? Please continue. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. She hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. Okay. That that clock. Yeah, that kind of statuey clock. The thinker, I think. Yeah. Wait. How how the hell would she have been able to see that? Yeah. You. Right said himself. Like you can barely fucking see shit. Wait. You want to press her at first or? Yeah. It? Okay. Just just out of. Can you at least tell me? Should I be able to press them and then present them? Yeah. So like, will it repeat to the same statement? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hey, you're good. A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, you don't don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Oh, a strange statue to think of, right? I mean, I feel like I should present it. Yeah. Objection. There you go. Miss May. What did you say just now was quite revealing? 
revealing. Oh, you... You like that, don't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> Phoenix Bugger, no faith. <laughs> you just said that this statue of the Thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that by just looking at it. Ugh. Another person in, in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. <gasps> she did it! <laughs> Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this is a clock? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, you can object all you want, baby. The witness saw the murder with their own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Uh, yes, yes, of course. You'll withdraw your question, Mr. Rose. No! <laughs> but questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I caught murders with these questions before. What do you mean murders? Well, only once! <laughs> Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. That <laughs> fucking just flips off Edgeworth. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Ah, uh, what? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know this was a clock? What? That... That's because I heard it? Yeah, I heard it say the time. How the fuck is this? <laughs> so, you've been to the law office of, of Faye and Co? No, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. She that's a loud ass alarm. Larry was like right next to the mic when he recorded the lines for it. <laughs> the law office is of Faye and Co where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the call. What? Mm, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No! <laughs> no, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... <gasps> it couldn't have heard it or it couldn't have rung. Hmm. I feel like it could have rung because it was at, it was at 9. Yeah. If you want, you can look at court records. You can... No, nope, that's not the court record. That's <laughs> sick. Okay, 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 okay. Give me, give, me, give me your thinking process. Alright, my thinking process was... Wait, I need to check this. Hey, what's up? You haven't called in a while. I have something you want to hold for me. Oh, what is it this time? It's a clock called the thinker. The clock isn't talking right now. This is what I remember. Yeah. Because didn't she say... Lane. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. There's some papers inside instead for evidence. Okay, so... So it's not that she couldn't hear it. It couldn't have fucking rung. Your Honor, members of the court, the jury even... <laughs> It is incomprehensible that the clock in question rang. It's, it's empty. It's empty, right? Yeah, she said she took out the clockwork. That clock is missing its clockwork. I didn't know if you would consider missing clockwork as a broken clock. I guess. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean that's the main component of a clock. I guess it, that gone could be. How how could you possibly? Just take a look right now. Oh. See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. It's just hot. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is... it is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss May... That's the only part she focused on was we caught her fat instead of a lot. Tisk. Huh? Quite a show you have put on uh, for us, Mr. Wright. Yeah, thank you. I, I practiced for you, baby. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. What? In Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. <gasps> I'm surprised! Hmm, <laughs> that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? 
Uh, yeah, I can, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, impossible, of course. I have proof. Well, huh? Yeah, fuck. Here it is, I'm fucking on the door. Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I have- I was listening. And now, I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves the clockwork was removed was this. Take that! Take that! Take that! <laughs> Take a look at this. Look at this phone! Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a girly phone! Wait, 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 this isn't my phone. <laughs> Listen. This is a defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of the conversation you have with the with the victim of the day of the murder. <gasps> order, order. The defendant's cell phone? Th this wasn't brought to my attention. Uh, yeah. That's the most stressed I've ever seen. <laughs> He's going through his midlife crisis actively. <laughs> Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? <laughs> The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Yeah, he just gave us the phone back! <laughs> I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for this big fella. Let's hear the conversation. Beep. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. It had to take- I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. September 5th. 9.27 a.m. Your Honor! I think it makes clear that the clockwork was already taken out by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, do you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that this weapon was a clock? Well... Well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was it again? I- I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Brain. That's bullshit! Larry Butts makes these! Yeah, <laughs> he only made two in existence! So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? The fuck yes! <laughs> the witness claims that she's seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence that we've already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. You forgot about yesterday, like yeah. yesterday's trial. Yeah, he has amnesia. <laughs> Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Uh, just present the clock, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, made by Larry Butts. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in this world. One of them isn't, and the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time that you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> oh my God, Phoenix, that was smooth. Ugh. Well, excuses not on sale today. Damn, bitch! Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I'm not screaming. <laughs> What the? <laughs> what is it to you, you porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. <laughs> whoa, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh, uh, uh, oh, 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 silly me. Did I, uh, like, lose it? I guess I did. Tee hee, wink. Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh shit. <laughs> she got the JoJo stare. Hmm, oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I, how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you had you heard of it or you held it. Mm. I think it's you had heard about it. Evidence illegally obtained wiretap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the witness had never held the clock in her hands. 
However, she had heard about it, that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way that she would known the finger was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Alright, wiretap that shit. <laughs> I, I, lo the shit uh, I love a I love a legally <laughs> obtained wiretaps. Have a look at this. Oh, that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Oh my god, is that an illegal wiretap? <laughs> Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what that is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss May's phone, were you not? Oh, uh, oh! Uh, your Honor, this is irrelevant. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. <laughs> it troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. So I'm drinking soda. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... I mean, isn't it just... Yeah, it said it was a thinker, right? Yeah, it's, it looks like a statue, the yeah, it tells you the time. I should probably tell you the clock isn't working. Take that! Take that! I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. I ain't reading all this shit again. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold for me. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. No! <laughs> Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up! All of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You- you lawyer! It's not fair! All of you ganging up on me like that! Oh, so I'm a bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's an ugly noise, son! <laughs> How about you cease this bitch cry? That did it. The court's seen the real Miss Faye now. Sorry, Miss April May- my bad. <laughs> now to deal with the final blow. You did- didn't you wear why the- t why the wiretap? I don't think she- well, I don't I mean, think she's spilling why, though. Oh no, it's up to you. I think the you did it, did you, means murder. Yeah, and I- and I don't think accusing her of- I mean, I think- I think this is the more correct one. Yeah, I mean, the beef- yeah. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Is it? Is this a murder trial? Is it tipsy tapping or irrelevant? She's saying exactly what Edric wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. I love, you guys can't see him. Every time Cameron knows that Joe's gonna hammer down, he does a little arm motion. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Huh, i like to see her pull that off. Yeah, me too, honestly. Mr. Lawyer, I saw the evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? <laughs> You're she's, talking about my blouse. <laughs> she's, she's she's uh she's doing a JoJo reference. She's reading one page ahead. Yeah, he's like, damn it, <laughs> damn, she's good. 
Well, you're not the first man who thought that. And of course, I can and I will. You can't be serious. No way. Way. I say way. Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Hmm. Okay, so the killing happened around 9 o'clock that night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Uh, room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. But she was... Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quickly, the ice melts, and then you just have regular cold coffee. <laughs> iced coffee. Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wink. Ergo, the witness was not on the, uh, on the scene at the time of the murder. Uh. So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. Well, we were here in Edgeworth. <laughs> However, that is a separate crime, with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fey, commit murder. No. We're going to let her just walk away? There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to this murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? She's guilty! <laughs> I mean, what? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness or continue cross-examining Miss May? Well, I think we should make that decision in the next one. Yep. Uh, we've, we've gone, uh, gone a little bit over... Overkill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, these these trials tend to be long, so I was expecting us to run over a little bit until we got to a good stopping point. Yeah, you, everyone gets to sit here and watch me save. Yeah, everyone gets to watch. Yeah, he actually fucks up, and we have to restart during the, <laughs> the next episode. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Well, thank you all for watching, and we'll get to see my decision next one. I get, uh, I get a little bit to think about whether which of these two yeah. I'm going to do. Yeah. But, uh, thanks for watching. Yep. Till next time. Yep. Bye! Bye! -bye.